Hi, this is Tigress. I'm doing my first ever review, so please go easy on me, guys. Um, I've been watching a few other Transformer reviews, and you know, I like talking about my Transformers, so I thought, hey, why not try doing a few of my own? Ooh. I'm actually going to start with Animated Blitzwing, because I just got him a few days ago, ordered him off of eBay. Supposedly, this guy was just a display model, um, and wasn't really used that much, but I don't have the money to, you know, he was cheaper than buying the ones that were still new in box, which I was planning on opening anyways. Who wants a transformer that you just stick in a box and you never play with? There's no point in that. I, you know, if nothing else, you like to pose them, you like to transform them. They're fun little toys. And, I mean, I've liked these guys, you know, I'm to date myself, G1 was the generation when I was a kid. I actually grew up on the first generation toys, and I've actually got a few of those back there I might review sometime. Um... So anyways, so I'm going to review this guy. He was probably my favorite character on animated, tra the animated Transformers, probably closely followed by Megatron. I have a big thing for villains. I keep joking, and if my toys in my back came to life and kept the personalities of their characters, I'd be in trouble because I don't have many of the good guys to, to defend against the villains. One of these days, I want to do a whole like storyline of my whole toys coming to life because I just think it'd be hilarious. I have a ton of Starscreams and a ton of Megatrons, and that I think that would just end in hilarity, honestly. So, anyways, yeah, I. So this is his plain form. So let me actually get on to the toy review. This is his plain form. A lot of people point out this weakness, the big gap here. I actually have him, I think, appropriately transformed. So now you know he's solid when he's appropriately transformed. His legs aren't moving around. This is staying still. And this comes in uh, relevant in just a second because I'm going to show you the way I actually prefer to transform him as a plane. He is kind of weak here because of that gap. And also, if you look at the lines here and how this is, that doesn't look like a plane that's going to fly. It looks crooked. It looks like it got bent. The way these things here, it just doesn't look like it. these like right here. It doesn't look like they're in a line with each other. Plus, and I don't really like these feet kind of like this right here. So I'm going to do something here real quick to show you how I like to better transform him. It does mean he's kind of loose the way I do it because it's not pro he's not snapped in. But it looks better, and as long as you're either just posing him or doing light play, it shouldn't be a problem. I mean, if you just hold him by the tracks in a certain way, it shouldn't be an issue. So I put the feet back in here like this. That gets rid of that. It gives a more little error. I don't know, it looks more aerodynamic from behind. It doesn't look like he's got these big things sticking up. And then I take this guy and I rest him lightly. See how loose this is? This is why it needs to be snapped in. But I take this and I kind of rest him lightly. He's a, the corner of his guns are resting lightly on the top circle there. And look how much better that is. There's no, oh, here we go. There's no, oh, now we see, this is why, you know, it's a little bit of a problem because it's loose, but now there's no gap there. This is nice and properly aligned with this. This looks more plain form if you ignore the tracks, which, you know, there's going to be some kind of kibble on like a uh, triple changer. There's just no way around doing that. But uh, it's not too bad, as someone pointed out. It is part of his form the, in the anime, the cartoon. They actually do draw his tracks, so, you know, it still at least looks like the cartoon version. But he looks much more proper that way. The only problem with this way is that there's a, and I don't know if you can see it, there we go. See that big gap right there. That. So yeah, he does have a big gap from the side, but you can't, you, oh, you have to look at it from a certain angle to even notice that. He just looks so much better that way. And I like his plane form best, and I'll admit it's because I'm biased. I love planes. I love planes a lot. It actually boggles me that people don't know that Starscream's an F-15. I've seen several people, like, have no idea what an F-15 is even supposed to look like. Um... So yeah, I'm kind of a big plane fanatic too, so I like this. And tanks kind of bore me. They're slow. They shoot stuff, sure, but, you know, they're kind of moseying around. I don't know. I like fast things. I like things that fly. Tanks just really aren't my favorite thing, so. And, you know, late. so anyways, let's put him into his tank mode that I'm talking about. That This is the mode most people like the best. Either this is the robot mode. It, if you properly transform it, it does actually, uh, function better. You don't have either the loose thing like this or it looking kind of unaligned. Though I saw some reviews saying that's because his arms weren't put on properly and that if you switch the arms that should solve that problem. I'm not sure I trust myself not to break my toy doing that so I'll probably just leave it as is. So anyways, let's get him in tank mode. So we basically, I've oh, I should have showed you that. So you take this and actually you got to fold this little nose cone in and then you fold this this way, keep his head back, and his head likes to follow that. 
And I don't know, maybe it's just uh, because this was more played with than I thought, but this seems kind of loose to me. I don't know if that was actually part of the toy or if, uh, or if mine's been a little played with there and got a little looser. But anyways, you flip him over like that. Take, get these wings out of the way. Take this and you gotta fiddle with these guys. Oh yeah, and close these, that guy pops off again. Unfortunately, the more you pop it off, the more it seems easy to pop off. So try not to pop your parts off because they start getting really loose about popping off then. Snap this back here. Snap that back on there. Mine doesn't like to snap on there very well. And you got to make sure that that part's solidly in because it won't snap in otherwise. But yeah, you snap that on there. Move these guys this way. Move the legs back in because the legs, once they're no longer snapped in like that they like to move around some these guys go this way that goes that and you flip these forward like that move that this way and then you move these up like this way so you can have the triggers here and I do have his missiles but I don't really tend to display the missiles in him I think it just looks silly honestly though it is fun it <laughs> anyways yeah I'm still a kid at heart so there you have his tank form, the mode that most people like best. It is a little more solid. There's no like big gaps or anything and it doesn't, you know, trans, you know, but you know, it's a tank. It's cute. I like it. I like the little double turrets, but as I said, tanks not really my big thing, so anyways, so let's get him into robot mode. And first, we are going to move his legs, who don't like being on that way anyways, if they're not connected to something they like to move around. So you move his legs like that. And then you open these, and you probably already seen me fiddle with this a few times. So you open these guys here. These got little doors there that open, and then his wheels are there too. It's for like tank and plane mode. And then you take this here, and you. It's kind of hard to see because it's all black, and my webcam's making it all blend in. But there's a little heel there that you flip up, and then you kind of use it as leverage. So there's that little heel sticking up, and you use that like leverage to kind of pull that other foot forward and now the other foot you do the same thing you flip that little heel here and this foot for me is really stiff usually so I got his foot out and as you can see he's very bendable there um, move his tank turrets off which once I get these on unfortunately it doesn't like to come off very well so I gotta snap that way move the wings back out and then flip this head up turn that around there he is move these arms they're folded in kinda so you gotta straighten them out and move them flip them forward to like that and then kinda hard to see but they're kinda folded there um, that's important when you transform him back you gotta fold him back but see they're kinda like that and then you pull forward and there out comes his arm and so then all you have to do is snap actually I have to move this thing forward like this for some reason Mine does not like to uh, move the turrets once it's snapped on his back. And it doesn't like going that way either, so we go that way. And now we snap it on his back, and then we move his turrets like that, connect this guy back on because it likes to snap off. And now you have that. And now we have Blitzwing in his robot form. And I like to have the wings out like that. I think it looks like his character more. So he's got his wings kind of out that way. The other way I think looks kind of neat is having him forward like this on his side. So either way I like, but I usually have it out like this. And he's and one of my favorite faces, though I usually like displaying him in, with the random face best because you can do all sorts of stupid poses with him in the random face and well it's, if you've seen the the cartoon it's random he does stupid silly stuff. It's like Blitzwing when he's got a sense of humor he turns and he goes into like random face. So this is Icy as I've heard him called. Blitzwing, the serious face, and he's got a little gizmo back here where you can change the faces, and if you've seen any other reviews on him, you'll notice that they all mention that it's very hard to use the little thing in the back to change the faces. It's very stiff. There's random face there. He's, that's someone, he's fun to pose. I can get him like laughing at something. He's, can't hold it in. Or, you know, you can have him dancing, cha-cha-cha, you know. Kind of that. He doesn't have waist articulation, so you can't move it side to side, but he's got a lot of other good articulation. His legs can move like this, and then his knee can move like this. His arms can go this way and this way, and then like this, and 
He's got kind of a double elbow there. His wrists can move in and out. And that's important because when you're transforming him back, you gotta have him grab his butt or he won't transform properly. Oh yeah, and he does have the third face, the the angry Blitzwing, which is hard to come out, and he's not really my favorite face. I I don't know, I just find that personality of his kind of boring. It's like, okay, yeah, whatever. But there you go, just so you can see, there's angry Blitzwing. Arnold Schwarzenegger face, or I think some people have called him Hot Blitzwing. As I said, I, he's not my favorite, so I don't really pay much attention to him as much. And these don't go forward, like in the the cartoon, he uses them, he shoots forward, and he has one that shoots ice and one that shoots fire, but you can't pose him like that, which is too bad. And I'm sure, looking at it, I'm sure there's a way they could have done it. It doesn't look like it was impossible, but, you know, it is actually a pretty good figure. If you like this character, it's definitely worth getting the, the toy. If you don't like the character, it might still be fun, but it's, you know, if nothing else, his robot mode is a very good likeness of his cartoon version. Actually, all of his modes are pretty good likenesses of his cartoon versions. Um... But I recommend him if you like the character. I think he's kind of fun to play with. He's kind of fun to mess around with. And you get the three faces so you can get a lot more personality out of him. He's not just having one expression on his face. You can change it however you like. Um, so I recommend him. So hopefully you guys found this entertaining. And hopefully I'll get a little better as I go on. And maybe one of these days I'll be able to uh, review the original Blitzwing because I actually that's one of the few transform one of actually the only transformer I managed to keep from a kid. All my old G ones that I have now are ones I bought off of eBay, including Grimlock, which I used to have. He used to be my favorite, and I lost him. But so maybe one day I can t review the original one. But I have to say I like this guy a lot better than the original. He's a lot more interesting. He's got a lot more character, and the toy I think is more interesting. The original, well, if I ever review the original Blitzwing, you'll get my thoughts on him. He was a gift and I but yeah I will talk about that in the next review thanks bye